Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to show you a quick way to generate your drawings from your model using this macro called Erection Drawing Macro. I'm Maurice Dimba, please join me or link up with me by subscribing to this educative channel and also not forgetting to enable your, your notification bell on your YouTube. Now, uh, just to, to enable your notification bell, it's just to drop you an information that have dropped some uh, new updates on uh, uh, Tecla structure tutorial or any other CAD tutorial because we are now opening up for various CAD uh, trainings on our YouTube channel. Now, today I'm, I'm, just, I'm just bringing up a new way on how you can create your drawings using a macro because it has not been used for a long time. We are, we are used to traditional way of, of creating drawings by, by either uh, se selecting everything then uh, uh, creating drawings along the grid lines now uh, today we, i'm going to take you through that macro it's a very simplified and uh, it, it's a more direct macro that will help you frequently when you intend or you want to create uh, drawings from your model like this one you're you seeing on the screen here now i have the macro here i have that the macro here on my on uh, on the applications and component here so the moment you you click here and just uh, type in erection er erection drawing here and it will appear here now this is the macro and we want to create or generate drawings from this simple uh, photo frame that have just uh, generated uh, prior to starting this uh, uh, presentation or training or, uh, or tutorial now let me just double click on it so that you see the dialog box and how you can set up your parameters here. So in here we have uh, on top here written erection drawing. So we have uh, options here. We have general options and we have other options here for 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 markings. Now I'll go ahead and uh, define my prefix there for drawing name. I'll give it a. And uh, we have two sections. We have plan and elevations. Now under plan, I want to give uh, I, uh, I i'll go to this drop down arrow click at the uh, click on that drop down arrow so you find variety of options here of, of what you might re, you might need so i just i want just to maintain it at standard right there and model view attribute file i want i just need a grid plan on this though we have variety to choose from we have the assembly we have end view we have back end so we just need the, the grid plan for now under plan section now under elevation section we need we need just standard elevation and uh, also we need a grid elevation right there so once you've done that you just go ahead and click create so the moment you've clicked create you'll be requested to pick to pick uh, or to select the grid as you can read at the bottom end here uh, please select a grid or please you can read from the bottom end of this uh, dialog box here so we are going to select this grid line at j here so i'll go ahead and click that grid line so the moment you click you'll see you'll be able to see the drawings being generated here and the bells being rung uh, indicating that the drawings uh the drawing processing are in actually uh, are in the process of creation so the moment it's done you will be able to get a, notif a notification here that plan and elevation elevation drawings created here so what you'll do we just go ahead and, cl and close this so once you've closed this just press ctrl l and this will take you to the list uh, the, the drawing list where you will find everything that you've generated from your model now I'm going to check on the elevation here so first of all let's check the plan on uh, on uh, zero zero level we just double click on that so that will open up and try and minimize this so that you, you will be able to see the plan view so we have the plan view here so if you want to add more dimensions because we, we didn't enable the dimensions so if you want to add the dimensions just select and add the dimensions manually like that double click and you'll be able to add the dimensions right there so in this particular case i'm going to i'm going further and uh at least you know, bring up the elevation because the planet elevation speaks a lot and uh, i'm going to 
uh, this end a5 i'm going to double click on that and i want to i want just to click yes to me to save whatever the uh whatever changes i've made on that in the uh, on this section under under a1 so i'm going to minimize this so i'll be i'll be i'll be presented with this so this an elevation so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some bit of dimensions here so i'll come to horizontal dim on horizontal add horizontal dimensions i'll click here and snap on that spot and snap here just double click right there and uh, s uh, select your uh, dimension and drag it s slightly up here so i want to add another dimension here by cl uh, clicking on that spot and double clicking on that spot so i'll just drag it somewhere here and also i'll add another dimension here just clicking on that spot and double clicking here so you'll realize that it will not give us the right dimension because it is a, a vertical dimension so it will not be able to apply there so let's switch back to a uh, horizontal dimension select that and double click here right click and interrupt and you want to pull it up to join the other one somewhere there just drag it to join it right there so that the look uh, we maintain uh, some sort of uniformity here so we want to just add some uh, not uh, some annotation here i'll come i'll double click on this dimension here and come to tags here and i want to add some some information here i want just to type set out set out points set out points right there so i'll go ahead and click okay or modify i'll click that there we are and now once i've done that um, i'm going to add some dimension here the height of our the height of our slope i'll come to vertical dimension and i want to snap at the bottom end here on go all the way and snap at the pe at the apex here so i'll double click right there so and drag this to this to this far end so you'll, f you'll find this tag tagging along on every dimension we've created so just double click on it and come to tags and get rid of it first of all because we need it where pro appropriate so just go ahead and click apply and and uh, click ok so we want to add another dimension here so we'll switch to uh, so we'll switch to vertical dimension i'll snap on that spot and drag and move all the way to this far end and i'll double click at the bottom end here and uh, select my dimension and drag it away just select and make sure you drag it away so that you, you try and, and um, match it with that so here i'll also add some some annotation by coming to tag and type overall overall if if height A simple text there so i'll go ahead and click modify apply and give an acceptance there by click an ok button so we have that information at that end and we need also to define the thickness of the plate at the bottom end here so i'm just I'm, i'll come here and double click on the far end right there and every time we create a, a annotation along with our on our dimension uh, the, the tag maintains its its position uh, irrespective or of its irrelevancy now we want to remove this by double clicking on that and come to tag and we'll get rid of the of that on that spot so i'll go ahead and click modify apply and accept that so you see how you can do that we can come at the bottom end here and also add a, an, uh, a dimension but since we have this on top here we don't need to add this also we, we can add the height of our of our hunch will come we can come here and uh, maybe define it from here or define it all the way from here and double click right there and if you, you can drag it down here so this is how it's done and uh, that is another tool that you you really need in creating your 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 drawings once you've created your model now we can go ahead and get rid of this grid line by selecting on it and go ahead and click hide it from view so this is how it looks this is how it looks now now you can go ahead and click save 
you can go ahead and save your, your drawing right there and uh, move on and select. You pick only the views that uh, brings the information sharper uh, uh, the way you expect it to be. Now, I'll minimize that because I've just picked the one that I want. I'll go ahead and uh, come to the pl plan view here and minimize this. So under plan view here, I'll be able to change the scale, double, just double click here and change the scale so that it fits inside your title block right here. So to change the scale, just come here and uh, type maybe 100 and uh, go ahead and click modify, apply and again give it an OK here. So once you've done that, just select a drawing and drag it inside your, your title block so that it fits and it'll be able to make sense to everyone that uh, will be will be handling or interpreting this drawing. Uh, so I'll drag that. And also I just indicate all the drawings, uh, the, the dimensions, just the way I've, I've, uh, I've, de I've demonstrated uh, a minute ago, a minute ago. And I'll also continue doing the same. I'll just double click here and uh, select on it, drag it and place it right there. So just drag it and place it right here. So I'll come here and select that dimension. So I'll come all the way and snap on that spot, move all the way and snap here, and snap on that spot, and move all the way and snap here, and move the another distance and snap here. So let's terminate that on that spot. And once I've done that, I'll just drag this and bring it up right like that because we want to cut down on time instead of doing one one dimension. We can do all of them at a go. You can see that. I've just done that. So again, I can just continue so that we, we complete that side. Select on that. Select on that. Just move all the way and, se and continue selecting on the base plates here or uh, uh, the plan layout for your simple model, for our simple model here. So let me just click on that spot and and come here and just double click on it. So I'll click on it and drag it up and bring this here. There we are. Now I want to uh, put in or place a general, uh, I mean, an overall length. So just uh, click on that spot, then stretch out and come all the way and terminate it here by double clicking on that spot. So once you've done that, just come here and drag it up slightly above this. So we have that dimension in that spot. So you can also come here and place your span by clicking on that spot and double terminating it here. So it's, it's adding another uh, 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 a millimeter there, which we don't actually need. So make sure you, you, you snap on actual positions or accurate positions. So let me just drag that aside and come here and also snap on that spot and come out and double click at the center here. Double click at the center right there. So remember we are using erection drawing macro after creating the drawing so you can add whichever dimension you need. I'll come here again and place a general uh, or an overall uh, uh, span or dimension for this. So I'll just double click there and I'll drag this just close to that to define or to bring out the information I'm trying to bring out here. So this is what you have. So I'll save this for the time. I'll save this. I'll s make sure you save whatever you've done. So I'll go ahead and terminate this. I'll, um, I'm trying to walk out of the drawing area. So I'll switch back to my I'll switch back to my model and this is the model we just generated the drawing from. So I'll come to view here and try to rotate this. Remember this, we are, we, we've downgraded to, we are, we, we are using uh, uh, Tecla Structure 21.1. .1. So this is how it looks. So also you can press Control R. You can press Control R. You can press Control R and define your rotation point at any location and you'll be able to press hold your left your left button the mouse and you will be able to turn your model like that so thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm Maurice dimba and if this and if this is your first video to bump into don't forget to subscribe and bye bye 
and don't forget to press your notification bell to draw to drop you the information that we have a new uh, video just in bye bye thank you amores dimba